hello guys welcome back to the channel in the previous video we have learned how we can delete a product and also delete the image of the product in this video we are going to learn how we can display a notification when the user edit or delete the product for example if the user delete the product it should display a notification here or if the user edit the product it should also display a notification that the product has been added deleted or edited so let's go to our VS code. Now in our VS code, we need to install a package. So let's open a terminal, a terminal, and in here let's create a new terminal. Now in our terminal, we are going to use this package to react to Stify. So we are going to install this package. Let's copy this link from here and paste it inside our terminal. Then press enter. Once the installation is finished, then we have to go to inside our component. So let's go to inside our component by going to resources, JS, page, and products, index.js6. In here, we have to import our package. So let's go back to the documentation and let's scroll down until you find this section. Then in here, we will copy this two lines of codes and paste it inside our component so let's add them in the top then after that uh, let's uh, go back and we have to also bring this tag toast container add it inside our return function so let's add it after the head now we have to modify our handle inertia request middleware so let's go to app folder http and middleware then inside here we have a middleware with the name of handle inertia request and let's click here in and scroll down until you find dash share method in here we have to create a new key inside our return with the name of flash then after that we will assign it a message key and set it this message to request session or once this is said, then we can access the flash messages inside our index.jsx adding a new parameter inside our index function with the name of flash. Now, after this, we have to create a use effect and attach it with our flash. So let's scroll down and before our handle delete in here, let's create a new use effect and inside here, we will create a call arrow function and I will attach it with my flash messages then inside here I will create an if condition one for my success message and one for my error messages so inside my first condition I will type flash dot messages dot success if it's available then those dot success and display the flash dot message dot success then we have to also create one more if condition for our error messages and for that i will create another if condition and i will say flash dot message dot error then in that case display those dot error and display the message which will be flash dot message dot error now one last thing that is remaining is to fix our messages inside our controller so let's go to inside our app http controller and inside our products controller in here let's go from the beginning in the create in the state of sending our messages like this we have to send them inside an array with a key and value so i will add it inside an array and in the state of comma i will just make it like this same thing I have to do for the edit part. So let's scroll down in here. Let's put it inside an array and change the comma to arrow. And also in with my delete. So let's uh, put it inside an array and change the comma to arrow key. Now. Let's go to our browser and test our toaster notification. So in here, let's delete this product. So let's click delete. Okay. 
now as you guys can see i got the my flash message product deleted successfully i can do exactly with the edit also so let's edit this one and add a fake value click save okay save as you guys can see i got my notification in here also and also if i add a new product in here let's create add a new product in here let's fake fail choose an image let's click save okay in our ad we have a small problem let's redirect to add product so now let's go and add a new product it's yeah as you guys can see in add edit delete in all three we can get our notification so this is it for this video and see you guys in the next video.